Hey, it's Warren for Home and Garden for Mere Mortals here. Um, I've been growing plants commercially for 25 years and I love it. When you go to the nursery to uh, buy your fertiliser, often you'll get it in little tubs like this. And uh, on the tubs it'll have a ratio, so uh, it has something like NPK and then a series of numbers. So we're going to learn what those numbers mean, uh, what they do for your plant, what you should look for when you're buying, buying fertiliser. Um, N stands for nitrogen and P for phosphorus and K is potassium so nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen is associated with um, new growth like green leaves, heavy leafy growth. Uh, nitrogen is a key part in uh, chlorophyll and chlorophyll is what gives the plants their green leaves. So if you want plants to put on uh, a lot of growth, a lot of green growth, you know, especially leafy vegetables, things like that, nitrogen is good for them. Nitrogen is also mobile in plants, so it can actually, the plant can move it around to where it needs it. So if you see yellowing in older leaves, often that's a sign of uh, nitrogen deficiency. I've got a plant at home and every spring uh, it puts on a lot of new growth and instantly turns my bottom leaves yellow. So it, it's sucking all that uh, nitrogen up to the top of the plant so it can produce more food for itself and grow bigger and stronger. Signs of too much nitrogen, if you put too much nitrogen on often the plants will just get leggy and they'll often get weak and soft as well, they'll become stretched looking. That's a sign you're doing too much nitrogen and uh, general yellowing of the leaves is not enough nitrogen. Uh, phosphorus, phosphorus is uh, associated with uh, plant reproduction, flowering and root growth. Uh, it's also used by the plant to, to build up strength to make it stronger, so more resistant to you know, cold conditions, hot conditions, that sort of thing. Phosphorus is also essential in the uh, formation of like, sugars and oils and starches in the plants as well. So uh, you know, that's where they get their energy, their food to grow. Um, phosphorus is also mobile in the plant, so like nitrogen, the plant can take it from one area and move it to another area where it needs it. So, Often if a plant starts to become deficient, it will you'll see that in the older growth. And that's um, normally a bit of a purpling in the leaf as well, you'll see. Potassium. Potassium is associated with a lot of the physiological processes in plants. So it helps with uh, cell division uh, in the roots and other parts of the plants. Uh, it can also help with uh, cold hardiness. Uh, rigidity of the stems, like Viagra for the stems. It's also mobile in the plants like the other two, so if a plant becomes deficient you'll see it in the older growth first. Um, it's often a burnt yellowy sort of look for potassium if it becomes deficient in that. Potassium can also help increase the uh, flavour and colour in vegetable crops. You know, if, you, if you want something to put on a lot of green new growth, you know, nitrogen is what you're looking for. If you want something to flower better or develop a bigger root system, phosphorus can help with that. So th these are just some of the things you can look at when you go to the nursery because often you'll see you know, the same ratio on 10 different products and they're essentially the same different thing. They're just marketed in a different way. So it'll help you understand that the next time you go. Here at uh, Home and Garden for Mere Mortals, we want you to become involved in the process. So please post any comments or questions down below and we'd, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Please also subscribe to our channel for our future videos so you don't miss out on anything coming up. I also have a woodworking channel. I'd love it if you check that out as well. Uh, it's called One Wood. So you can find us at onewood.com.au or you can click the link to go to our channel page.